So with a lot of us working from home, I know that also is another adjustment to it all. And if you're used to working around people day to day and now you're just at home isolated, that will take some time to find the groove of what works best for you to stay engaged with your team, um, to be productive and just to stay connected with everyone. So I wanted to share some tips with you guys um, as I do have the experience of working from home, but I also do work around people as well. So I'm still adjusting to it as well. But I think these will be helpful for you guys if you're not used to working from home whatsoever. So the first tip that I have for you guys is to get ready in the morning, meaning get out of bed, make time to eat breakfast, set up an environment that is not your eating area, is not your relaxing area, and it's only gonna be your work environment. So if that's getting up and getting ready, doing your hair, doing your makeup, taking a shower, that's gonna help you feel ready. Just creating that feeling of being ready is gonna help you tackle on whatever it is that you're gonna tackle for the day. So if that's jumping on a webcam with your team or signing a package for the FedEx guy, you're just always you're gonna just feel more ready and, and more effective. So that's gonna help a lot. Uh, in addition to that, also communication. So staying connected with your team is gonna be everything right now. Meaning that you may need to go ahead and set up a couple meetings through the week, even if it's just 15 minutes, just to stay connected with your colleagues, check in and see how they're doing, create a group chat or get on a, a Skype channel, whatever it is to help you and your team just stay connected will really help drive that engagement for, for everyone. Another tip is actually one of my favorites is being mindful of your time. So I know we can get so stuck and glued onto our computers with whatever it is that we're working on, but we also have to keep in mind that we're human beings and right now we're dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety. So. It's important that we take stretch breaks, go outside for some sunshine, take a walk, get your exercise in, whatever it is that is going to help you take a break mentally is going to help you know keep those productivity levels high, um, especially during right right now. The next tip is buying a pair of blue light glasses. So I am not prescribed glasses, I don't need glasses, but I did invest in buying a pair of blue light glasses. Um, I'm always staring at some kind of electronic device. The blue light glasses help eliminate the blue lighting from an electronic device. So it's gonna help reduce headaches, um, help reduce the, the eye strain on your eyes. Um, so they've helped me tremendously. I love them. I don't always wear them, but uh, for the most part I do and they've significantly helped uh, with my eyes. So the next tip is eating. So you can't forget to eat, but you also don't want to eat your whole closet. When I first started working from home, I'd have my laptop out and a bag of chips. And within 15 minutes, that bag of chips were gone. Um, and that, that had to stop because I'd end up eating all my calories for the day. Um, so my best recommendation is setting up a space for you to eat and then going to your work. So if you separated both environments of eating and working, but you're still having trouble with eating your whole closet, then I would recommend drinking lots of fluids throughout the day, um, You know, making healthy snacks, whether that be making healthy snacks like veggies or fruits or um, just some kind of healthy snack that will help um, take away that craving that you're having from just wanting to eat. Um, the last tip is staying focused. So this one, especially with right now, I know we're getting daily updates by hour from our local officials and we're just trying to stay on top of the news and everything. Um, and then at and on top of that too, you have the distractions at home from your children or your partner or your pet. There's a lot of distractions going on right now and it's not easy. So um, what I'll do is I'll put on notifications on my mobile device from the people that I need to be connected with and then from the local news that I rely on. So whenever I hear the notifications go off from one of those two sources, 
then I'll address it. But having notifications on for, from everyone and then from every news resource, it's gonna just, you're gonna be all over the place. Um, so that's helped me tremendously to just kind of stay off my phone. And then, um, you know, putting on a good playlist, putting on your AirPods and just zoning out, I think that will help as well. That's helped me, so I hope that will help you guys too. So that wraps up the tips that I have for you guys that are working from home right now. If you guys have any other tips or recommendations you wanna share, please comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing. Uh, but in the meantime, continue to stay safe and healthy.